Press the subscribe button and bell icon to never miss any update from Joel websites. So hello bros, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create GitHub pages from start to finish. So I'll be showing you how to upload the HTML files also. There will be a separate video that is going to be created on how to link the domain. So stay tuned for that. So anyways, let's get started with this current video. So first of all, you, what you need to do is you need to create a new repository. So in case you haven't already created, create a new repository. So you will get a subdomain in the GitHub website. So you'll get it will be like joeljfernandez.github.com and you will have to create a new repository. So in case you are not creating multiple ones, you can use the default one that is the subdomain that will be created. So next now I'm going to create a test GitHub page. So it will be created as test GitHub page as shown over here. So you can keep the other settings as it is and then create repository. Okay, so once the repository is created, you need to go to the settings tab. The page will load and then you need to come to this section, scroll below and come to GitHub pages. So here you need to select a theme and you need to select a theme for your choice. So they have some inbuilt themes. You can select from that and you can edit it directly. I'll show you very soon how to edit it. Uh, you can select the theme from here or you can also upload the HTML file that is a custom HTML file or your HTML project. It's totally up to you. So for now I'm selecting this project, just scrolling a bit out to show you fully. So I'm selecting this theme. This is Cayman theme. The page is loaded. The best thing about this is that you can create a website without purchasing hosting. Only thing um, the domain has to be linked. It's a little bit complicated. So here we have the file. Um, so all this text is going to be displayed on the GitHub page. So in case you want to open the GitHub page, you need to go back to settings and scroll down and here you have the GitHub page created. So here we see dash GitHub page. So I'm just zooming in a little bit more for you to see. So I'm opening this on a new tab. So here we have the test GitHub page and here are all the things that were written in that particular page. So in case you want to make any changes, I'm going to show you right now. So you, this is the URL for the page. So Joel J. Fernandez is the username for my GitHub account. And Tesh GitHub page is the name of the repository. So similarly, this type of page has been created. So now I'll show you how to edit the page. What you need to do is you need to go to the repository. So I'm going to click here. It will take me to the repository. Here there is an index.md file. You can edit the file by clicking on it. And here there is an edit icon. Here there is a pencil icon which will help you edit the file. So you can type in the edited text. So I'm typing in edited text E D I. So in case you have any doubts, you can mention your doubt in the video comments. That's not a big deal for me. I will reply to you. So here we have edited text and now we have to click on commit directly to the master branch or you can create a separate branch. But what you need to do is make sure that the master branch has been committed. The changes are committed to the master branch. So click on commit changes and the page will take some time for loading. So it might sometimes if you're uploading a lot of files, it might even process and might take a while for you to see the changes. So here we have the GitHub page. So here we are expecting to show edited text instead of GitHub pages. So I'll refresh the page. I'm not sure whether the changes will be shown here, but here we have the 
edited text shown i'll just zoom in a little bit for you to be to see it okay now the question arises about how to upload your project to github so i'm going back to github and um, i'm going to delete these files um, whichever files are there in this i'm going to delete them because they have no use so you just need to select the files and delete it you can click on it and then delete here there's a delete dustbin icon so you click on commit changes after clicking on the dustbin icon so now you're done you can even delete the extra files but this is i'm not deleting this one now i'm let it being there so here we have upload files option so clicking on upload files so i'm going to click on choose your files so recently i downloaded a html project from start.bootstrap.com so i'm going to upload all those files so to upload the files you need to select those files and drag and drop the files you have to not manually select the file because the process is a bit complicated um i would just tell you to open the folder and drag and drop the files it will start uploading very easily so here the files are being loaded so once the files and the folders have been uploaded so actually i have uploaded the files twice so there is a bit complication so i'm just waiting for it to load here you can see the files have been refreshed to the list so you have to wait for a while it depends on your internet speed on how fast the files have been uploading so once the files have been uploaded you have to click on commit changes then it will show processing and you have to wait until it processes and then just refresh the page and the project will be loaded so waiting for the files to be uploaded i'll just pause the video for now until the files have been uploaded so bros now it's looking as if all the files have been uploaded or most of the files have been already uploaded so i need to click on commit changes for the changes to take in effect so it will show you processing your files it will take few minutes to complete so the best uh, way to upload your files is to have a good internet speed actually i wanted to talk about something else is why do we need to use this github pages because you don't have to pay literally for the hosting normally we have to pay a lot of money for uploading a new website moreover github pages are for free so we have to not pay obviously and there is no no tension to keep in mind so in case you have any page that needs to be displayed you can create a custom url using tiny url or something and just create this pages and display the required information it is very good uh, instead of creating blog posts sometimes sometimes this can be used as an alternative it is a uh, mind free or tension free alternative of creating any web page you know we have to renew the domain name we have to pay about 10 dollars every year sometimes we tend to forget about all this so you can avoid that situation in case you just need to create some static pages this is one of the best options so just wait until the page is been processed it will take a few while so in the next video i'll be showing you how to link the domain so in case you are interested for that mention a comment for that I'll expect about ten comments at least, and I'll create that video. So I'm going to pause the video for now because it's taking quite a while for the page to be processed. So we'll resume the video once the page has been processed. So after the processing page, it directly showed this page. So here you see that the files have been uploaded about eighteen seconds ago. Added via file upload. so we can expect to see a new index page for now we need to open this and refresh you will see the bootstrap page that i had uploaded so hope that all the files have been uploaded so once you upload your html it will look just like a normal website it is really very fantastic so this is totally created on github pages i have not purchased any hosting you can host your websites and projects for free by using this method So hope that this video was informative in case you liked it do press the like button and in case you have more questions in your mind comment down in the video comment section i'll surely help you out so anyways have a great day bros
पीस आउट टेक ए सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो पीस